GWB standard drop brackets. Basic single sided one, comes in two versions at the moment. This one's designed to take up to inch webbing. This one's designed to take up to inch and a half webbing. It will also take inch webbing as well. Both will take large tech lock, small tech lock, molly locks. Um, you can even make a leather loop and bolt it on through the holes as well. So, basic mounting for this one is usually for a wrap sheath. Just goes on the side. This size one, and I'd use this one, it's a bit narrower than the other one. Now standard mounting would be Chicago posts, more screws, whichever way you want to do it. A couple of rubbers. Mount on. A couple of screws. Standard offset drop. Now we can choose what we want to mount it with. So, nice tech lock. My favourite um, and preferred method, although not quite so good in the vertical carry, but there's a bit of give in these brackets. So, we just take a couple posts on this one. The holes on the outside are on the inch and a half centers, which match up and we can mount this obviously various heights. Put your correct length Chicago posts through. Rubber silencers. Drop on at whatever height you want to do. And again, select the right screws. Standard tech lock. You can put in more too, is generally adequate for this size of knife. However, tech locks are quite expensive. Uh, they run between 10 and 14 pounds, depending on where you get them. So we can now, on this one, this takes up to one inch webbing on the slots. So just the length of webbing, uh, I've got a tri-glide on here. Not absolutely necessary, but it does help stabilize the sheath. Ooh, wrong way. Slightly different lengths on here, I'll show you in a minute. In for the front on this particular one. And you want it so that this one goes through just and then the outside one comes back up and through and locks it nice and solid. This has got a long one, obviously you can cut it to length or just slide it through. You can then slide this up for your belt for your belt uh, loop, because then that will stabilise it on the belt, stops it flopping around so much. Uh, depending on where this comes, you can put some elastic through here, obviously to clip over the handle. This one's not going to need it because it's too low. You could elastic around there, but there's no point because it's not stabilising it higher up than the, the sheath anyway. So, standard women carry. 
easy enough to swap out. Available in lots of colours. Mini tech locks also fit on here. Um, as I said probably earlier, these are slotted. These slots are actually um, scalloped. Uh, it's a series of holes the right size for Chicago posts, which has then got a slot through the middle, and they're on quarter inch centers, so you can position the Chicago bolts or the Chicago posts um, exactly. So, one inch on centers on the outside. There we go, they stay there. Oops. So, they don't move out. <laughs> Again, rubber silencers, just gives a little bit of give and movement. And again, you can mount this obviously, you've got the three height options on the tech lock itself on each position and there's three other positions that you can mount it on. These posts are slightly too long for this one, so I'd use slightly shorter posts to grind these ones down. So, there we go. Mini tech lock. We can also do molly locks. These again have the same spacing centers as the large tech locks, three quarter of an inch. So these can be mounted, obviously as a pair on the outside. Um, like that if you wanted to. Or you can mount them on any of the centers here. So these generally have small thin Chicago posts and countersink screws. Says wherever they've gone. Dome ones on this because the capture things ones have disappeared. So you can fit those in as you want. On the short or the long ones, obviously they're all the same. Hole centers. short one fitted on with the right screws so they're flush in here and they're very short so they don't stick out the back of these short posts <laughs> 